Hey, bless up, bless up. You know, I, I remember there was a time, and I'm taking it a little bit further back, right? Some of you all have never experienced this, but those of you all that love old school cars and kind of used to driving cars from like the 70s and uh, early 80s and the 60s, you, you can kind of connect with this. But today, cars, you have to press the brake in order to start it. Well, some years ago, you used to have to press the gas to start the car. You know, y'all bear with me for a little while. I just want to take you down. And I know if you're not in the cars, I'm going to try to take you with me. So here I was, I was restoring a 1971 Grand Prix. Two door, long front end with a 400 block, 400 transmission. And I had this carburetor because the car didn't have a carburetor on it, right? And I got it from this old paint and body shop. It was tucked away in this barn, right? It was next to a 67 Chevelle. And I think it was a um, Impala, about like a 79 Impala, but it was all tucked away, right? It was in between. And it was full of rats. Uh, I, I, I bought it because I really wanted that body style. I really wanted that car. And <clears throat> I took a chance. But after crawling over the cars, he finally moved uh, the cars out from the side. We were able to uh, get the car out of there. But, you know, I was paying on that car. I didn't have that much money at the time. And I was paying on that car a little bit by a little bit, right? Giving them $20 here, $50 here. Wherever I made some money, I just used to give them some money for this car. Because I really wanted this car. And once I got there, uh, finally got it out, got it to the house. He towed it, brought it to the house. I was so excited. But I needed a carburetor. So back then, you could go to a junkyard and you can get a parts off of another car. So I found this other car and I found this Quadrajet. And so I rebuilt this Quadrajet. Quadrajet is a carburetor. And it's a four-valve carburetor, right? Because in order to start a vehicle, in order for an engine to run, period, yes, you need oil. Yeah, you need oil to cool it. But you really need fire air and fuel so to start a car you need fire spark plugs hence you know and then um fuel of course gas and air is what we breathe so here i am rebuilding this for this quadrajet putting in new injectors doing float valve doing everything you know just putting everything in there you know and got it together hopped in the car and took it for a test drive, right? Crunk it up, pressed the gas, and got it crunk up. Took a while, had to put a little gas in the carburetor too, kind of just let that gas soak in, let it run for a little while. And I had taken everything out, the interior, out of this car, right? So I was sitting on a bucket, and I took it around the block. And what I did, I backed it up, put it in reverse, put it in drive, turned the corner, and then it was this straight street. And then I just applied the gas just a little bit, but guess what happened? The throttle got stuck. And I was on for a ride, my friend. Scared the living daylights out of me. I'm sitting on this bucket, praying, and I'm coming close to a dead end, passing by neighbors, flying by. They think I was trying to show off, but little did they know, it wasn't that I started mashing the brakes and they knew something was wrong because it was it was going at the same time it was going it was it was the the tires were screeching down the road and lo and behold thank God that I don't know what came over me but I pressed the emergency brake just as I was coming to a dead end going directly into a tree into some houses and it came to a stop and my heart was raging. My heart was pumping like it was pumping out of my chest. My eyes seemed like they was going to buck out of my head and I was just shaking. I was shaking and my palms were sweaty, gripping the wheels, steering wheel. If it was one of these new steering wheels, I believe I would have just put my fingerprints in the steering wheel, you know. But it was one of them old hard steering wheels at the time. But I wanted to kind of share with you 
You notice these days, not a lot of people flood cars. You know, you used to flood cars if you weren't careful. Typically, you'll mash the brakes three times, I mean, mash the gas three times and get it started with those old older cars. And now you mash the brake because they have these fuel injectors and fuel injectors and computerized system tells how much fuel um, to release, how much to inject. And no longer do we have these carburetors. A lot of people say it's a good thing we don't have carburetors. But the point in uh, the point is about carburetors is it's like life, right? In life, sometimes our carburetors can get stuck. We can get to going, 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 going. And is it really beneficial? Is it really beneficial? Sometimes we're going so much we're out of control. Make sure you take the time to come off the gas a little bit. Some people say, I come off the gas when I die. Sometimes you can be rushing it. Take the time to enjoy life and don't be so hard on yourself because some of us, we just going, 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 but make sure that, that you're working properly, you know, because that carburetor, it was doing its job, but the stuck throttle, that wasn't part of the plan. Little, little bit, little bit announced to me, I had a problem with the spring on there um, that, that controlled the throttle and the throttle cable. And it was just something that wasn't quite laid out even because you got to, at that time you had to have everything laid out even, but it was against the intake and, and it got stuck. But it's the little things. All it was is just the turning of a screw and adjusting. Sometimes our life, we have to take our time and really take a look and see and tweak those little small things in life. Sometimes we just go, 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 and we're not thinking about, are we doing damage to ourselves or we put our life at risk? Take the time to pay attention to what's going on. And yeah, life can be scary sometimes, and a throttle is necessary, but a controlled throttle is really necessary. So make sure that you don't overexert yourself, go after your dreams, grind, get what you got to get. But also be mindful that you got to stay in shape for the long term. Y'all be well. Y'all be blessed. And y'all, please don't forget to keep on growing. Grow.